everyone, Michael O'Brien here with just a few ideas on how to stay safe while performing for live audiences during COVID-19. Hey there everyone, Michael O'Brien here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what can you do to stay safe during COVID-19, especially since depending on what country you're in, uh, a lot of performance venues are allowing uh, live entertainment. So in this video, I just wanted to cover a few ideas uh, to both keep you safe while you're performing as well as your audience. So the first thing is probably the easiest thing that you can do, and that is simply to toss on a mask. Now, the science on this is very clear. Wearing a mask does definitely prevent to a certain extent, the spread of the virus. And the way that it does that, of course, is it, when you're speaking out loud, just like I am, it, you know, you're spitting and moisture and stuff is coming out of your mouth. And those little droplets, even if you can't see them, those little droplets land on the surface that you're performing on or even on your spectators. Now, wearing a mask is simply gonna prevent those droplets, uh, you know, from spreading out all over your audience and potentially getting them sick. And same with you as well. Maybe uh, you're performing in a venue and maybe the spectators are not wearing masks. Uh, I personally actually keep a bunch of masks with me. You can get a bunch of disposable masks at like the dollar store for very cheap and I hand them out to the spectators so that they can toss them on so that we're all staying safe. Now, it's very important that you create some kind of agreement with your, with your uh, client so that they know that everyone should be masking during the show. Otherwise, maybe spectators that are not masking won't be able to directly participate. Now, I'm not saying they can't be there, but maybe they need to be, excuse me, maybe they need to be farther back not right up in front, and definitely not a volunteer that will come up and assist you. Again, this is to keep everybody safe. The second thing that you can do is use hand sanitizer. Again, make sure before your show, you wash your hands. After your show, you're washing your hands. And during your show, of course, you don't want to pause and then run to the restroom every trick to go wash your hands. So what I do is I just keep a little vial of hand sanitizer handy that I can both use for myself after every trick or maybe every few tricks as well as maybe when a volunteer comes up, you just give them a little dab, have them you know, rub their hands, and then they go on to assist you in the magic. Again, this is to help prevent the spreading of germs. The third thing, of course, is practicing social distancing. Make sure that your audience members are not right up on top of you, and make sure that uh, the audience members that are in the audience are spread out apart so that they're not next to each other getting each other infected with the virus. Now, this isn't 100% practical in every venue. For example, if you're doing uh, you know, a family event, uh, like at someone's house, like a private birthday party or like a dinner party or something like that, it's kind of their rules in their own home. So if, if they all know each other and they want to stay together, I mean, not a whole lot you can do about that, but you can definitely keep yourself safe and you can definitely keep your guests safe from you by making sure to maintain a proper distance. Which brings me to the fourth thing, find creative ways to get the audience members involved without having to have them touch the props or your cards or even you. So for example, maybe you're going to have a spectator choose a card. The easiest thing that you can do is ask them to name a card instead of to choose one. This actually makes forcing even easier because you can do like a Hindu force or like a riffle force and you can say just say stop at any time you'd like. This way we can choose a card at random without you having to touch the deck. So the excuse is built in essentially to, to be able to do some forces and things like this. So again, you know, mask up, carry hand sanitizer with you, make sure you're social distancing and find creative ways to get your spectators involved without having them need to come up and get really close to you and touch your props or anything like that. Now again, all of this is just to keep you safe and to keep your audience members safe. There are certain venues, of course, that you might be performing in where social distancing while you're performing isn't really possible. Like maybe you're performing restaurant magic uh, and you're going from table to table performing magic. Just make sure that you're being very clean 
avoid putting things in your mouth. So in 2020, the card to mouth is dead. I'm so sorry if you perform that, that effect, that idea, the card to mouth is dead at this point. Um, unless of course you're wearing your mask and you do card to mouth through your mask. <laughs> it is possible, kind of silly in a way, but it's possible, I suppose. Uh, make sure again, you know, um, just be safe. Don't, <laughs> don't touch the spectators plates or food or don't shake their hands or anything like that if possible. Anyways, these are just really simple ideas. Uh, I know that you guys can apply them right away make sure that you're being safe out there. Have a lot of fun. And uh, again, make sure that you're keeping your clients and their guests safe as well. If you enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more advice for magicians videos just like this, please make sure to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, all of that fun stuff. I'm going to be posting more videos just like this. Also make sure to stick around for performance videos, reviews, and other awesome, fun, interesting, maybe content here at O'Brien Magic. Take care, everyone.